Hey folks, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician. And in this video, I wanna teach you how to use MIDI packs with Reason. So what we're gonna learn in this video is how to use MIDI packs with samplers, how to use MIDI packs with synths, uh, some things to look out for when you're trying to use combined MIDI packs. And then we'll also really quickly just show you how to use MIDI packs that are part of the Reason Plus subscription, but mostly I'm focusing on all those other MIDI packs out there that you buy. So let's jump into the lesson. The first thing you need to understand about MIDI packs is that they include no sound. They are not sound packs, they are data packs. They are essentially just as if you had played in a part on the sequencer in Reason. It's up to you to assign the sounds to these packs. So let's say I take a, um, I've got, let's say this kick pack here. So let's add a track. And what we'll do is first we'll start off with a Mimic Creative Synth. This is sort of a sampler, sort of a synth. So by default, if I drop in this MIDI pack, it's just gonna have these notes in it. And generally MIDI packs, especially for drums, well, really generally drum MIDI packs are mapped to C3. So by default, I've got this basic vibe kit here. And if we hit play, That's not really a drum beat. So let's hit right click and reset this mimic device. And now let's browse for some drum loops, some kick loops specifically. So if we go bass drum and then let's go 808 Fritz. And if you don't like that sound, then let's just browse down for a few more. And we could even, you know, drop another one in here, whatever. But this is the beauty of MIDI packs as opposed to loops or samples, sample packs, right? You get the rhythm, you get to choose the sounds that are right for your song. And then you could also like say, hey, I actually wanna add in one more kick fill here and let's take this one out and then let's change the velocity of this. Oh, and also I wanna adjust the tempo. So you get much more control over your sound. I also want to let you know that this video is sponsored by beatproduction.net, maker of some of the finest samples and MIDI packs out there. If you use the code WELCOME, you can save 25% off of your first purchase. There's a link down below to check it out. So go look through those MIDI packs, look through those sample packs, and save 25% with the code WELCOME. So there we go. We dropped in the kick drum. Now let's do a hi-hat. Uh, let's do a snare track. So I'm gonna show you this with like another device, the NN19, for example, another sampler in Reason. So again, let's reset it. Because if we don't, it'll just be playing the default sound. And now let's browse similarly for some hi-hat sounds. So we'll go to, uh, or sorry, snare. Let's do snare X. That sounds nice and fat. Now let's go to the snare side of this MIDI pack, MIDI snares, and let's take the snare loop. And you have to be sure where you drop it in, right? You can't just drop it in willy nilly. So now let's listen to the loop. You could also just navigate here in the browser to your downloads folder. You don't have to be necessarily dragging it in from your finder or your file thing. I find it at least on a Mac, this is more robust. Doing it this way. You can also drop in the MIDI pack as a new, just directly drop it in and it will create an ID8 by default, um, which, you know, you can actually use this with any sort of synth, right? So we could do acoustic, but um, by default, you know, like I said, this is mapped to C3, so what's gonna play? And if we open this up, we need to scroll down to where the hi-hat was mapped on this synth. All right, so. So this would be probably the note we'd want, the F sharp 
one. So we could hit, you know, control A to select all of them and then go to F sharp one here. And now Or, you know, if we wanted to use a Kong, we could right click on this ID8 and change it over to a Kong drum designer. Um, or not. So we could instead add a Kong here, lovely drum synth, and let's drag the Street Sweeper. Now we can just drag this MIDI data to another instrument. But again, is it going to be mapped out? First of all, let's get a good um, hat sound here. And we can really, you know, map it to any one of these channels, but H3, let's say. And now if we go here, let's just make the sequencer wide. Again, you see it's not the same note. So I could instead just um, move the sample onto the clap, right? I could take this and just put it on this note, and now it works. Or I could rearrange the MIDI data. But let's listen. Now that I've put the... And we could rena rename this hi-hat. And another thing you could do um, about this is, for example, you can create multiple MIDI channels. So we could create a new note lane under the Kong, and then I could drag this snare pattern onto here. Again, it's not going to be mapped properly, but um, if we were to take this here as the snare pattern, let's actually zoom out. In this case, control A isn't going to work. Um, so we'll note that we've got this snare and we can just drag it up. And now this will be playing on both. So, I don't know if we want the hi hats to drop out. We can just mute the hi hat lane within the Kong. And similarly, we could do that with the kick. This is also how like MIDI chord packs would work. You know, you would just drag in the MIDI and then find the synth you want to work with that. So I hope this has been helpful. I've got one more tip for you, but I do want to remind you that Beat Production is offering everybody 25% off with the code WELCOME on your first purchase. There's a link below. Check out their sample packs, their MIDI packs. I think you'll really be pleased with the, what they have. And so now the last thing I want to teach you is just how to use MIDI packs if you've got Reason Plus. So with Reason Plus, these packs come in this area that has the Reason Plus um, <laughs> logo on it, basically. So you would just go to here, and then you could easily find MIDI packs this way, as opposed to having to go in through your sampler, your finder, and all of that. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.